what's in the box. All right, welcome back everybody to another wonderful video, what's in the box video here on the Chris McEwen YouTube channel. Do us a favor, as always, go down below, hit subscribe, get all the videos right in your feed, whether it's a course vlog, gear talk, that range life, a show sometimes about golf or more, what's in the boxes. Anything we put up, you'll get, hit that bell, you'll get notified when they hit, all right? Do that, that'd be great. So, what brings us here today? It's been a while since I've done one of these. Um, let's just get right to it. Got a box this weekend. Weekend as I'm, uh, as I'm recording this. Don't know when we'll release it, but uh, pretty straight, pretty, I can pretty much guess it's a putter, right? Lab Golf, you may know them as, um, the makers of the Directed Force 2.1. Uh, the looks kind of like a branding iron, that giant mallet. Things a wild looking putter, but I'll tell you what, it works. All right, let's see what we got in here today. Cutting away as usual. Man, this one's tough. Poor box. Paperwork. Oh my God, it's never ending. Ooh, okay. There it is. I'm looking forward to this one when I first saw it. So, Lab Golf, famous for their what is it? Lie angle balance method. Um, basically, there's a whole there's a whole bunch of conversation they have there, but making sure they get the right lie angle for any putter so they take it very very serious in the fitting world with these guys and they don't want to sell putters just uh they don't stock loft fly all that doesn't exist they get the balance right length everything has to be just so and if you can't get fitted by them or at a a, a official fitting studio that they work with they have a remote tool. You can do it online by uploading a video. There's instructions on how to do it. We've used it here, uh, or I should say on my site, driverangeheroes.com, and uh, it works. It's really, really nice, but they have that branding iron putter that uh, I was just talking about. It's very, very popular, but it is a little wild. It is a little tough to... Uh, it's a little tough to look at behind a golf ball. It's, a, it's, a, it's crazy, and then um, they have a blade putter as well. Um, rectangular kind of like a brick uh but very clean minimal look uh the the idea is there's minimal uh twist when you're using their putter it just goes back and it goes forward where other putters naturally want to rotate around they have a lot of great videos on the lab golf website check that out and uh watch those it's pretty educational at the very least but anyway um i feel like they've been looking for a putter that performs and plays similar, similar, similar to the Directed Force 2.1, the big guy. Should have brought that one in here. That would have been a good one to show you guys. Um, similar performance and what have you, but a little more uh, realistic, I think, for more golfers to look at. Easier to stomach, because let's face it, it is a divisive putter some people love it and don't mind that the crazy looks i'm one of those guys some people just can't get over looking at the giant thing behind the ball so this putter could be the answer all right I like this head cover check that out all right this is a new one new one from these guys call this I don't know if it's the Mez one or the Mez point one dot one. So you can see this is it coming in there. There it is. Now, see, does that show up? Mid, they're calling it a mid mallet. I, you know, okay, fair, but uh, to me, it's more mallet ish. Um, it's still a different looking putter, but it's, you know, it's sort of a, it's sort of got that uh, fang style that's popular amongst really a lot of the brands and uh, their mallet offerings. So it's along those lines, but it still has their, uh, still center shafted like they have been um, in their other models, which 
plays into their lie angle balance principles. Check that out. Uh, so that it's not going to seem familiar if you're into if you've followed Lab Golf. Have a lot. Uh, I want to say there's. Well, I can just count. There's ten weights in here that they can control the balance of the putter to get everything so it swings just right back and forth right and gets again everything about this part these putters whether it's this one the blade or uh the the directed force df 2.1 right that guy it's all about getting that balance perfect and these are some of the best balanced putters i've ever seen so it's a lot these 10 weights one in the heel here one in the toe and then four down uh each fang we'll call them have yourself a nice alignment aid right there. They do offer three different options. You can do a line, you can do blank, and I think you can do a dot. Um, if I don't have that right, I apologize. But look, you can pick which one you want to get put on here. Uh, I want to say this is um, it's like flight grade aluminum or aircraft aluminum body with stainless steel in it. And uh, looks, it's CNC milled. I want to say all... all uh, built and put together everything done in the u.s surprise taking it a little bit up there most of their orders being uh what i already explained about fitting and what have you they have to be custom ordered so you can get cool builds like this acra shaft that they specifically built alongside acra to get just right in their putters they also have these press grips this one i went with is the press number two uh, 2.s for one and a half degree. You can see, see, the, I don't know, maybe, maybe it won't come through. Maybe we have to do supplemental pictures, but it doesn't go straight into the shaft. There's like a, there's a lean to it to, it sort of fits into your natural press and your putting stroke, right? So, um, getting the grip right with these guys is very, very important. You can choose and work that out. They'll help you through that process as well. But, um, yeah, that's it. It's a wild putter. It looks crazy, but I really, I do like it. And I think it, I mean, just looking at it now, doing this to you here, it looks clean. It looks smooth. It feels good. Just, just in the old waggle here after unboxing it. So I'm really excited. Of course, dead of, dead of winter here, but uh, I'm really excited to try this out. Everything I've ever tried from these guys has been really, really good in terms of performance and feel and just I frank, frankly, I think people putt better with them. I've seen it happen. And I think this one could get more people to buy into it. I think it's a little more, like I said, it's a little more of a palatable and realistic look, I think, for golfers. So uh, I'll be interested to see how this Mez, Mez.1, Mez.1, Mez I don't know. I'll be interested to see, though, how well it gets adopted and if uh, people show a little more interest in this because they like the looks of it more. There it is from Lab Golf. I really believe in these guys. They're a super cool brand. Go check out their website, uh, labgolf.com. Pretty straightforward. And, uh, you know, see what they have to offer. Check out their videos. There's a lot of great stuff on there. It's a really well done website. Um, I just like these guys. They're cool. Check out their Instagram too. You can also, while you're at it at Instagram, follow me at Range Heroes. Go to drivingrangeheroes.com where you can read reviews and other blog golf blog stuff don't forget to subscribe to this channel chris has videos coming up all the time check out golf origin stories podcast that he does all that great stuff and uh, i think that wraps it up another what's in the box equipment season starting looking forward to having more of these coming up soon thanks for watching we'll see you next time